Hi right guys, it's Ninja Gaming 23 here and today we're making another video. As I was saying is finally I'm gonna be doing a listening video with Jake Paul this time, his reaction to this. I'm sorry it's kind of a bit late for this. It's September, obviously. This fight happened a long time ago. I could not wait. I was actually busy before making the video, so sorry about that. Let's just start the video. This is Jake Paul's response to the KSI and Logan Paul fight, so let's just listen to it. Let's see what you've got, Jake Paul. Oh, I feel so good right now, guys. I don't, I, I, I don't know where to start. I think I'm just gonna dive right into this. What an amazing, like. Just to say one more thing. Subscribe to my channel. And as I was gonna say, is that um. He, the reason why I'm not going to be turning the camera to the other side just to show my monitor is because that there's no use in that, there's nothing to see. He's only speaking and doing hand gestures, just like he normally does. So let's carry on the video. Mm. Such a crazy, crazy, crazy night. Like who would have ever thought that a bunch of YouTubers could put on such an amazing show. It was easily one of the most memorable and crazy nights of my life. Deji, you showed a lot, a lot of heart out there. Much respect, bro. I think you earned everyone's respect. You f all right, all right, all right. The thing I don't understand is that he's saying that Deji earned a lot of respect from there. But um, my point of view is that, so why were you actually fighting Deji in the first place? So why were you calling him all sorts of names in the first place? You were saying he's this, he's that. So then then you're coming back saying, oh, you earn respect because Deji had more bangs than actually you did. He had more opportunities to actually knock you out, Jake Paul. So don't start all this shit again. Don't start all this beef and start instigating or doing all sorts of things you want to do. This is the way it's going to go. And yeah, let's carry on the video. Fought like a warrior. You have a ton of heart. So, Deji, good job, bro. We brawled it out. Uh, I think I just started to outbox you towards the later rounds, but we were both in. One more thing to say is that um, <laughs> um, the way he's just actually speaking, like Jake Paul's actually saying, all right, all these things to, I, to Deji, but all right. But who was the one that had blood on their nose when they actually started the match? Like, it, it, when he start, wait a second, guys. When they started the match, as Deji stepped into the ring, um, Jake Paul was literally hiding, like, literally, he was kind of, like, hiding, but be like, behind um, one of those referee, the, not really the referee, but he was hiding behind his crew and one of his other players down there. I don't even know what he was going, I don't know what was actually going on down there. But what was actually, well, I don't know, but Deji actually, at least Deji actually got, got up and actually did actually try and fight but the thing i didn't understand is why did he actually fight deji in the first place i've been wanting to find that out but what's the time 1826 626 interesting let's carry on that's got nothing the time's got nothing to do with this video let's carry on with the video listen to what you've got and they're just like giving it our all. Boy, is that WBC amateur champ? This thing is so legit. It's like heavy, bro. It's super heavy. And I know I was bleeding everywhere. I didn't want to like use this as like. All right. Um, Jake Paul actually admitted he was bleeding. All right. Good thing. An excuse before going into the fight, but like literally in every single wrestling match that I've ever had, I got a bloody nose before the fight on like July 30th. Admit that, Jake Paul, because you're actually weak. First, this is a picture of me getting both of my nostrils cauterized so that I wouldn't get bloody nose, but it didn't work, uh, clearly. But obviously, it does look bad. I look like a freaking idiot in this picture. Uh, but you, you know what? I look good in this picture, so... That's life, okay? You win or you lose! I want to say thank you to all the fans in the audience. There was a ton of... Logang, there was a ton of Jake Paul is there. I love you guys. Y'all were repping the merch. Y'all need to get that new RNBO merch. I'm so excited to launch my clothing brand, guys. You can go to shop rnbo.com right now and be a part of the first 500 people to get some of these shirts, guys. Like, I'm so excited. I put a ton of time, effort, and energy into creating this brand. Rise and be original is what it stands for. And uh, I'm going to grow it and do something amazing for y'all. At the end of the day, hard work pays off all of us put so much time effort energy into this the logan versus ksi fight was crazy like i i was i was yelling like i don't know if anyone has videos of me yelling but like i was yeah at one point i jumped in the ring so important and the boys all the of the battle for the KSI. 
outside. People will not be happy about that. People getting angry. Jake Paul in the ring. ring. Everybody needs to calm down. Everyone needs to help. All right, all right. Jake Paul, at that moment, when Logan Paul, when it was like, I don't know, when was it? Well, I don't know what Rania was going to be, all right, but when they were boxing, Jake Paul actually just walked in. He didn't do anything, but just saying, Jake Paul, you're not going to do anything to care, so I don't just try and act big just to support your brother, Logan Paul, but Logan Paul is just a little liar. Let's carry on the video. See what you've got again. But I do think Logan, I do think Logan won the fight. Watching, he didn't win the fight, mate. He didn't actually win the fight. I think, in my opinion, um, Kersai should win, should have won the match. And his and the reason why is that I think Kersai should have won. He had more of the opportunities and all of the time to actually punch Logan Paul in the face, and the amount of time that he re retaliated. That was the moment where he stopped. Logan Paul actually stopped. But, all right. If that's what you say, Logan Paul, your brother, your lying little brother, all right, you're the liar too. So I'm not going to say that. But let's just carry on the video. I just want to listen to what Jake Paul's got. I keep on stopping the video, but sorry for that, because he's just saying things that actually just come out of his mouth and doesn't say, mate, just making things up. And All right. Let's just carry on. I, in person, it looked more even. I called that it was going to be a draw right after the fight was done, before they announced that it was a draw. Watching the video back of the actual fight, I think Logan won. As much as people are going to be like, oh, you're just saying that because you're his brother. Um, he just landed more soon. Well, you are right. You're just saying that because you're his brother. You are right. Because Logan Paul wouldn't have won that match. In the first place. Significant strikes. I'm excited for the rematch, I guess. <laughs> Whether you're a KSI. Just letting you know he's going to have a rematch. I, a, a Deji fan, if you're from England and you hate us, we together make... If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about KSI and Logan Paul. They're going to have their rematch because before that, it was a tie. It made history. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's a part of it. We seriously created such an amazing event. And England, I want to say thank you so much for having me. I'm going to do a couple of videos reacting to both my fight and Logan's fight. So make sure you are subscribed to keep up with those videos. Guys, don't listen to him. Do not subscribe to his channel because he's a little shit and lied about Deji and his family. And we will see what happens uh, in the future, man. Like, I, I definitely want to keep on fighting. But it is time to go back to Los Angeles and chill out for a little bit. Uh, there will be some videos, like, coming out here and there. And probably in the next couple of weeks ago, I will start vlogging again. I love you guys. Go to shoprnbo.com right now. F off. No one's going to go there. Do not buy. If you're my fan, just don't go buy. Don't go buy RNBO because if you buy any of those shirts, just get off my channel. Now, let's see Deji. Let's listen to Deji's. We're going to put both of them in one with video because I can't do separate videos. Uh, I might make a video tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. I'm sorry I let you down. I accept your sorry, Deji, but you had more opportunities of winning. Let's listen to Deji's. Get two for one on Monday, Tuesday, oh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Only with Meerkat Meals. What's up, guys? It's Conscious Gamer. All right, I'm back home, as you guys can see. Uh, amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing, this whole fight experience and everything. I loved it. It was amazing. That's all I can really say. As you see, I've still got a busted lip and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I know I completely destroyed Jake's face. That was my main goal. Destroy his face. I, I did that much. So, that was good. Congratulations to Jake. We were both tired as hell, but he got second wind and came back. If I, if I got that second wind, ah, oh, that would have been amazing, but unfortunately I didn't. I was drained. I was so tired. It's, uh, it's the body shot. The thing is, he hit me round four with a body shot, and I made a noise. I was like, Ugh! I made once I made that noise, he knew. All right, just keep getting him in the body, and that's what he does. That's literally all he did. He just kept getting me in the body, and that took out so much energy from me. What I should have done, there's a lot of things I should have done. I, I would say one more thing I have to say that does not take out a lot of energy from you when you put someone in the body, especially the belly. Yeah, but I'm not. I'll keep on. How I know that is because uh, I go UFC, I do UFC fighting, cage fighting, things like that. And I know about it. And that is that doesn't stop, that doesn't ruin your energy. Your energy is what you actually have in between you and what you're actually fighting for. So, yeah. 
on the hush hush. But anyway, uh, it was an amazing experience. Like, uh, shout out to Jake Paul. Shout out to uh, his team. Shout out to... Wait, 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 wait. Deji, why are you actually shouting out Jake Paul and his team? So what was the whole point of you guys arguing? How do, so you wasted your time going to London press conference, LA press conference, again, well maybe two, and then now you come back shouting Jake Paul out. I don't understand what's going on over here. Well, I need to say a massive, massive shout out to Vic's Boxing Gym. Vic helped me out loads. I wouldn't... Just wanted to ask you guys, who's Vic? I have no clue who that is. Put in the description below, show me a picture of who this is. In private description below, but yeah. You guys to follow this boxing gym on Instagram, okay? And not just that, Tommy Martin. Tommy Martin helped me out loads. Same with his brother, George Martin. These guys are my team. Team Deji. And these guys transformed me from sh close to beast. Just saying that his boxing trainer is white. They're all white. Just not trying to be rude. Just saying. Alright, close to beast. I'm not beast yet. I know I lost. I know I lost. It, it does suck. Losing does suck. It, it really does. And, and I'm telling you right now, me, me having that taste of defeat when I was in the ring, knowing I lost because they threw in the towel. They threw in the towel because they didn't want me to get any, they didn't want me to get hurt. I, I was good to go. In my opinion, I was good to go. It was just like, I was just tucking up, letting him burn out himself. He was getting tired because none of those shots at the end hurt me. But they threw in the towel, but it's fine. It's not a biggie. It's no biggie. They're, it's, they're my team. They're looking out for me. But uh, what I can say is, it, this was an amazing experience. If I was to have a rematch with Jake, I'll f him up. Easy. Straight up. I don't know if we're gonna have a rematch. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm down. Alright, you said that you're gonna F him up. Alright, the thing with Deji that he believes in himself. Same with KSI there. As they're saying, they're both brothers. They actually believe in themselves. They say, oh, next match I'm going to beat that person up. Or I'm just going to pin him down. But when that match comes, you're going to come back and say, you lost again. And then after you're going to start saying something else. So which I actually do not understand the story of what you're actually trying to say, Deji. So don't start saying things you're not actually going to do. KSI, he beat up Joe Weller, fractured him and yeah. That's all I was going to say. I don't want to listen to any more of this. I'll listen to the rest and, re and tell you guys a bit later. But yeah, anyways, I enjoyed listening to it. I accept your story, Deji. And yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. It's a bit short. But anyways, subscribe to my channel and see you later.